so happy to have you with me today. Let's start out with a prayer. God our Father, thank you so much for this day that you have given us and this time that you have given us together. Please open our hearts and our minds and our souls to you as we come to know more and more about you and love you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On the first Sunday of Advent, <clears throat> we remember the prophets. The prophets are the people who know the most important things. They know which way to go, and they know where to go, and they show us the way to Bethlehem. Now we too can go to Bethlehem. Something incredible is going to happen in Bethlehem. On the second Sunday of Advent, we remember the Holy Family. We have the Mother Mary, <coughs> and we have the Father Joseph, and the donkey. Mother Mary was about to have a baby. It's very hard to ride and to walk a long way when you're about to have a baby. So Mary rode and she walked all the way to Bethlehem. They must have been the last people coming up the road that night to Bethlehem. On the third Sunday in Advent, we remember the shepherds who were standing in the field around Bethlehem keeping their sheep. We have a shepherd, and we have a couple of sheep. It's really all we need. Baby sheep. The wolves, the, the shepherds were trying to stay awake so the wolves could not come and get the sheep. Suddenly, there was so much light in the sky that it hurt their eyes. They were afraid and their hearts started beating so loudly. Finally, when they could hear something besides their own hearts, they, ha they thought they heard singing in the sky. That also scared them until they heard the words of the song. The angels were singing, don't be afraid. Angels often say that because, well, it's kind of scary to have a messenger of God come to you. The angels singing sounded something like this, don't be afraid. We bring you tidings of great joy, peace on earth, and goodwill to everyone. A child is born. Go, hurry, run to Bethlehem to see the child who will change everything. Here is the candle of the prophets. Here we have the candle of the Holy Family. And here we have the candle of the shepherds. Look, there's something different about the candle. It is the color of roses. This is to remind us of the great joy the angels sang of. It also helps us to remember that even if it is very serious to get ready to come close to a great mystery like Christmas, you can't be serious all the time as you get ready. This is the Sunday when it is time for a little celebration. There's one more thing about this color of roses. It is also one of the colors for the Mother Mary. We remember her again, for without the Mother Mary, there would be no baby. Let's light the candles and enjoy the light. Let's enjoy the light. Now I'm going to change the light. Do you see the light of the prophets, how it is just in one place? That is very helpful. That helps us when we see the light. 
Now watch. Watch as I change it. See how it is spreading out and filling up? It gets more and more invisible as it spreads out and fills up the room. <clears throat> Soon it will fill up the whole room. Here's the light of the Holy Family. It is also easy to see when it is all gathered in one place. Now watch, I'm going to change the light. Look, it too is spreading out. Do you see the figures in the smoke? Watch how it changes as it goes and it spreads out and it fills up the whole room. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. And here is the light of the shepherds. Do you see how it is in one place? Let's change it and see it spread out and fill up the room. It's filling up the room and it's mixing with the Holy Family and the prophets. And anywhere you go in this room today, they will be there. Friends, I'm so happy that you are here with me today to wonder and worship and hear our story of the shepherds and the prophets and the Holy Family. Let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God be with you as you go. God be with you throughout this day. God be with you as you work and think and hear and speak and play.